So hi Susan, tell us what your story is about how you first got into the paranormal and what you decided that followed you into your later life. Well, I, I was raised um, Southern Baptist, so you know, we believed in God and that kind of thing, but I never really bought into it, so I can't really say that I had, that's paranormal to me, all the, the beliefs we were supposed to have. But I didn't believe it. I was um, I had a lot of problem with Cain and Abel, and uh, the Tower of Babel oh, that really really bothered me a lot. Noah's Ark, and I didn't like how they would skip stories, and then spend a lot of time talking about the same stories over and over uh, in the New Testament. So I had a lot of problem with that. A lot of questions. So I never really believed in that um, paranormal kind of thing. I guess in high school, it's not when I was a little kid, but I was kind of a late bloomer. In high school, I believed in astrology, but not the kind of astrology that was like it would predict your future, but more the kind of astrology that was sun signs. I was really into Linda Goodman's sun signs book. And I, thinking about it now, I'm not really sure if I had um, made, because I always thought that I fit the profile of a Leo. I was a Leo with a Scorpio moon and a scorpion rising sun. I think that's what it was, but I was really into it. And I fit all the characteristics of, a, of, a, of that type of personality. And I don't know if I kind of developed my personality based on those things, thinking that's what I was going to be like. So I developed the confidence and the leadership and, the, and all those kinds of attributes because of what I knew or if that was my natural tendency to be that way I didn't don't really know but I got out of it just out of high school I think because I didn't really feel that there was I mean it was really kind of silly and there couldn't be there's just 12 sun signs how could there be just 12 different personality types and sometimes people blended into other personality types and I, I'm not sure if there was an aha moment but I just kind of just said this is really dumb that I'm believing all this into one book and uh, I think that's kind of how it faded but as far as paranormal beliefs I think that's probably the only ones I really had that carried over into my adulthood to some extent.